Hello everyone. Hello. I'll be right back. Oh good, I didn't even have to summon fuckers this time. So how's everybody doing? Okay. So-so. Mm,
Oh, by the way, I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, I thought the call time was at well, eh, 8.30, 9.30, whatever. It's 9.30 my local time, but it's, what, I don't even know what time it is now, and if you were time, then that'd be one hour ahead. Oh, my time is 10.38. Okay, so you changed it from 10.30 back to 11. How it was, I think, what, before the Christmas break? Well, I would like to start at 10.30. However... Considering that uh, of your group, one, two, three, four, five people are not here. Do you guys want to go ahead and start, or do you want to give them seven more minutes? I mean, I'm good either way, but I might have to leave a little bit early out of the session, or I might just sit here and just quietly record it, because i got to run to Dallas, because things happen, yeah, yeah, you got I, I apparently have a uh, hook toe, not hook toe, hammer toe. So I got to go and get custom-made shoes. At least every time you kick somebody now, you can scream hammer time, and it's accurate. That's yeah, true, but then I'm going to have to get surgery on it later in life, so that's not going to be fun. But I still do like at least having it set up to record so that way we still have that video backlog of sessions so if there's like a particular detail we weren't sure about i have it on video so we have the exact wording <clears throat> so last time you guys were in a bar you opened a walk-in freezer so you might remember what was in the second walk-in freezer um, one of them had the, uh, the murder axe, and the other one had, what was it, it had the triple barrel shotgun, hobo shotgun, I went into the Q&A of Dead Tree to ask about that, or did I ask you, I can't remember, about repairing it. You asked me. Oh, okay. There was also a lot of wine in the second one. I, I, yep. found, I found out how to add words and stuff, so I added a walk-in phraser to them. I might start doing that now. Or I'll add just a short little description of each room, because why not? Also, Fiora, what's the uh, timer for AFK Kick-Out, by the way? I forgot to ask, I meant to ask that. For what? Uh, if you're, you know, there's AFK Kick-Out function. Oh, it's like uh, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Just that way I know if I need to forget. Wait, what exactly refreshes that timer? Or would it just... Anything. Oh, okay. Literally interacting with Discord will reset the timer. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the moment, you just, the moment you push the button to talk, it resets the timer. Push the button to talk, click on to check a message, any, anything. As long as you acknowledge Discord exists, it doesn't activate the timer. Okay, that's good. Is, I think, what? Yeah, that's what happened with the barbershop. I ended up getting kicked in the middle of the session, so I had to rejoin it as soon as I got back home. All right, so you guys are still in the bar. What are you doing? I believe from the last time we were going to continue searching this place. Yeah, that I think that's what we were planning on doing.
So what room we go into? I'm going to move up to this door up here and check it. It's a door. No, we're checking to see if it's locked or not. Oh, no, it opens. Open the door and look through. Hang on. I have a description for this. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. The description is not stabby, stabby, murder, murder, okay? Is it smashing, smashing, murder, murder? Oh, you know me too well. Uh, no, it's not. Worth a shot. Does it have pincers and a stinger? I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Internet decided to restart itself for no reason. And there we go. This appears to be the administration section of the bar. The floor is relatively clean until you actually take a look at it and realize that, no, in fact, that's not red mahogany. That's brown oak that has been stained with blood. So much blood that you didn't realize that the floor was not red mahogany. Darn it, some free mahogany would have been nice. Still Bronco checks his 44, checks his gauze carbine. Let's do this. Roger. Moving up to the end of the hallway right here. Perception check to look down the hallway, see if there's anything down there. You see a hallway and a ceiling. Well, that's nice. First rule of the day, crit fail. You're more you're more icky about the fact the blood's still wet. I guess Arcane will brandish, I guess. Yeah, you can use tail trick to wield firearms, correct? You can use tail trick to wield one handed firearms, yes. Okay, cool. I am wield the his nine millimeter pistol in his tail and then wield the 
357 revolver in his mouth, because, I mean, if something was big enough to have smashed everything into the floor, we're going to need a bigger caliber. It's less to smash everything into the floor and more like pulverized it until the point of which it's nothing but blood cake. He's going to watch behind everyone else, just so that way in case anything tries to sneak up behind us. I don't have the freaking double barrel shotgun stats loaded into my equipped weapon, so this is going to be fun. So what are you guys doing? I'm sorry, the map is a little pixelated. I'm gonna move up to number room number eleven here. Check the door. It is locked. This door's locked. I mean, that hasn't really stopped you guys before. I'm just saying the door is locked. We don't have any earrings, do we? No, we have not found any key rings around here yet. Do any of you know how to pick a lock? Shrug. No, I have a lock pick of 17. And I don't have any bobby pins or screwdrivers. Same here. I suggest we don't break down the door in case whatever's here will know where we are. Agreed. Well, I'll corridor, you move to 12. Alright, gonna move on down to 12. Gonna check this door. Agility test. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Here we I right on the button. All oh, right, I did do that to them. I'm a terrible human being. Sorry, I'm looking for a picture, and I th then I saw an alligator picture, and I'm like, why the fuck do I have an alligator? Oh, right, I did do the alligator in the sewer, but... You jump out of the way as a uh, as a zebra hoof kicks past you, and there's two guns trained on you. Is it is it gone? You quickly seem befuddled as the um, zebra is in centurion clothes, and the two other people holding guns are in equestrian military outfits. Is what gone? You mean, you haven't seen it? You are giving me vague descriptions. I don't know if I've seen something if I don't know what I've supposedly seen. 
I'm guessing since Bronco and Arcane are still in the hallway and the sound, obviously the conversation is carrying. I guess Arcane will move up a little bit. You 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 know it if you saw it. It's like cock of head. Wait, the three alicorns? No. What Wait, else? There were three alicorns. What? How long have we been in here? We almost ran out of food. How long has it? When was the last date that you remember? They all kind of look at each other, look back at you, look at each other, and then the Pegasus kind of hesitantly looks around and goes, um, uh, well the bombs went off, and uh, we chased this zebra in here the next day. And then it, uh, it showed up. I don't think we've seen this. Uh, would any of us know how long it's been since the bombs dropped, or depending on? It's been about three and a half months. Well, I mean, obviously. This I mean, room smells atrocious. These, 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 these ponies and zebra look horrific and smell terrible. Y'all could probably use a bath at this point. Okay, and we got any food on us? Um, I got a bag of uh, zebra-flavored chips, or was it taste of a zebra? I don't even remember. Tears something. of a zebra. Thank you. We have that, and uh, maybe we got some meat. Wait, don't we still have a? We still have a third of bacon, right? Yes, we do. Give it to them and I'll add pass over cram. Yeah. I still forgot. Bronco, former student ranger. What's your name and rank, soldiers? The zebra and the soldiers look at each other, look at you, look at each other. Do you, you, you think they're real? Keep your face off. Steel Bronco, serial number 361280. What is your name and, and registration? Zero. Your soldier. Uh, um, Cloud Napper, and, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's, that, that's, uh, the zebra seems to compose themselves a little bit and goes, hush. I am Leandra, and this is... Cloud Napper and the Quiet Unicorn, or the the Quiet Earth Pony, doesn't have vocal cords anymore. Their name is Silent Step. What happened to his vocal cords? They were ripped out. By whom? It. What the hell is this it? You have not described it to us. It is a form of unspeakable horror for which there is no description. It doesn't even devour those that it catches. It simply rends them to pieces and grinds them into paste and then runs away. That's not even efficient for a predator. It seems to revel in our distress. Whatever it is, it needs to be destroyed. Oh, also, uh, Arcane will quickly pull out the Geiger counter and do a quick once-over over all of them to check the radiation levels. Mm, yeah. They have at least minor radiation poisoning. 
the Earth Pony is like somewhere moderate to advanced. Arcane tosses the uh, the Earth Ponya spare rad right away, seeing as he's probably in the worst condition. You have right away. Eight. We now have seven, if you allow me to give the Earth Pony one right away. Well, it is in our loot list, so go ahead, give it to him. We still have a decent amount. The Earth Pony um, takes off their helmet and reveals the horrific scar around their neck. It looks like something literally was trying just to rend their head off. Oh. Their neck is significantly slimmer because of this than it should be. I don't know if that's healthy. Misty, you want to give him a one over? Yeah, I'll take a look at him. Or are you going to make a roll, or are you just going to say, yeah, I'll take a look at him? Hold on a second, I need to ch check something real quick. Nice. Oh wait, you need to take twenty off of that because I not actually healing him, I'm just looking at it at the moment. Um it's an old scar and basically all of the any form of fat or external muscle around the neck has just been cleaved off leaving basically the, 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 the neck slimmer around uh, the collarbone than it should be. But it will recover, right? Oh, no, they're scarred for life. I mean, like, the, some um, lost muscles and stuff, it will grow back over time. So they're not going to be like a pencil neck for the rest of their life. I mean, no. This is like a shark attack looking type of bite. Like they don't, they don't get that flashback. It's gone. Hold on, you said, like, a shark attack. Can I roll survivalism to see if I could have an idea of what kind of jaws could do something like this? It would have to be... It would be the only method you could think of would be if, he, if, if, if his head had been inserted directly into, a, uh, into the mouth and it bit around his neck trying to decapitate him. What? 
kind of a creature could do something like this? This is... I have no words for this. That one you might have to figure out. Uh, oh boy. I mean... Hang on, is... I'm, I gotta double check with you real fast. Um, is Withered Flower with us at the moment, or is she staying with the kids? She's with the rest of the group who isn't here. Okay, got it. But, hmm... I mean... Would the party know about hellhounds or no? I mean... That's up for you guys to decide since they don't exist yet. Or if they do, there's some horrific experiment you haven't been exposed to yet. Touche. I would say probably not, but we could still diagnose it potentially as a diamond dog, but the diamond dog would have had to go insane or something. Whatever it is, I don't fancy our chances finding out. Let's get the buck out of here. We can at least get them cleaned up. They obviously need the shower. Agreed. So I'm guessing we're booking that we hang it on her a little bit longer. Well, if there's something that did that to this guy, I really think we should just leave. Maybe get some better armaments for another time. Understood. Centurion, soldiers, are you ready to move? The ground begins to tremble before they can respond. Ah, frick. Move now! They're bolting ahead of you. However, as they pass through this door, um, this entire wall explodes grabbing all three something yanks all three of them out of your sight in the hallway and all you hear is horrific screams and guttural crunching until they're sickening splats that spray blood guts and gore all over the hallway arcane looks at the rest of the party other direction yep. i'll cover you go Arcane takes off in the other direction. Branching about the 9mm pistol in the 357. Pull the shotgun close on hand if needed. Ready in his gauze carby. Arcane will stop at the door. 
that he's standing nearest to and uh, look out very quickly to see if anything's out there. Oh, that walks into view looking around. It's looking away from you at the moment. It is covered in blood and gore. It has no mouth, just tentacle hands with giant claw-like appendages on the end that it's walking on. The hell is that thing? Steel, come on. He's aiming his god's carbine as, as he's slowly just walking back. Alright. I also have my weapon trained on it as well. Alright, if you guys got eyes on that, I'll go ahead and start making sure our exit plan is clear. Our king will poke his head out through this door. It looks clear. He calls out to go, the rest of the party. Go. It looks clear. All right. I guess the party. I'm assuming we're going to this door. Yes. Anything in this next room? We've already checked that room. In case something else came. It's in. as you left it. Let's just get out of here. Don't need to say that twice. The moment you step into the main bar area, the the wall from the opposite direction near the karaoke stage explodes as the creature runs right through it and looks right at the three of you. Any ideas? Make for the door, I'll draw its fire. Okay. Our game will kind of slip into touch between the tables. Attempting to try to break line of sight. Roll initiative! Uh, for initiative, do you gotta roll high or roll low? Hi. Oh boy, and that thing gets first attack. This thing better not have laser eyes or something. Now why would you think I'd give it laser eyes? God! That's a cheap cop-out for something that's supposed to be an eldritch horror. Laser eyes. Just, just, uh, I need to do my freaking HP Lovecraft reading. Its action is two movements because it only has 30 AP. Judging from how that thing is going, I say we stay away from that thing. Steel Bronco. Firing God's Carbine. Okay. This is going to be fun because I do not actually remember freaking how to do combat. Well, I know how to do it, but I don't think I have all the info typed in, so let's do this the hard way. 
I just... Roll 20 does not like us right now. The guards card being glitches. Apparently you didn't put in the clip. You put in the clip backwards and have drained two shots out of the clip without actually firing them. Marco, aren't you supposed to be our military guy? It's 15 AP to fix the glitch and try again. Dang it, I don't have it. Just buck and it'll be fine either. That would have actually been a really clutch perk to have. Yeah, run. Yeah. Okay, it's still your action, Bronco, unless you're out of AP. I've got 30 left, I'm just gonna. Double check my room. Yeah, 78 P ain't too bad. Gives me just enough AV to pull off two double barrel shots. Well, Bronco's working that out. Um, how much is how much is movement speed calculated by? Or is it in the sheet? It's calculated by hexes in the sheet on roll 20. My sprint is 18 hexes. I just sprint for the door. It's locked. Those three alicorn. Oh, it's a smash. It's still smashed in. You could try to squeeze through the broken glass, but the door itself was locked. Apparently, the alicorns are bitches. Really, we're mildly nice to them, and they lock us out. And they locked you in. Locked us in. But. It was locked before we tried to get in there. Well, I had to break the door open so we can get in. And you guys climbed into the glass so he can attempt an agility check to climb out through the glass. Okay, you run and jump through the glass and you're outside. That's my turnover. Arcane. I'm trying to figure out how to do the movement X thing again. Go Third page offense, of your character it'll tell you sheet. What your sprint speed is? Third mm -hmm. page of your character sheet. It literally says your num the number of hexes you can move. Yeah, no, it says the number of hours. hexes, but I can't remember how to calculate it. By dragging it, like what button do you have to hold to calculate it? The ruler. Go to the tools to the upper left, select the ruler, select your character, and then you can drag. Um, it's 18 hexes, and I'm guessing if I sprint all the way to the door, that'll be most of my AP, because that'll be 30 APs to start, or 15 AP to start, 15 to stop. If you want to keep sprinting through the door, you need to make an agility check to not get cut up and or crash into the glass that's still there. Yeah, I'm going to probably stop at the door. Okay, so that's 30 AP. What's next? Arcane will attempt to climb through the door. Well, since you stopped, instead of just sprinting straight through, you don't have to make a test, so you just walk through the door. Come on, Misty, you can make it. Forty-five AP. Anything further? Um, 
Hmm. I would maybe attempt to try and make a shot on the Eldritch Horror, but I don't know if that would be a smart idea, because that means the Eldritch Horror would attempt to go to the door, and then that would block Misty Lily's run. I'll store, can I store AP in case I need it? You may reserve for one action. Okay, I'll save it in case I need to pull off a shot. Also, that's exactly 45 AP, so Arcane will make sure his shotgun's out and ready to go. Okay, Misty, your turn. Alright, I'm going to sprint for the door. Do I have to spend... Yeah. Do I have to spend double if I have to do two sprint actions without stopping? You do 15 per sprint action and 15 when you want to stop or change direction. And then I have to do an agility test if I ha if I just sprint straight through the door, right? Yep. That's All right, I'm doing two sprint actions to try to dive through the door with an agility check. So, oh, there? Get back here. Just barely made it. Uh, no, you need two degrees of success. Make a strength test. And minus two for the strength test. Oof. Well, you stop cold when you jump through the wrong door. Apparently, they cleaned that glass too good. God damn it. The other two of you look and see, Tong! And a very stunned Misty Lily. Lose 20 AP for being stunned for a moment. What are you doing now? Well, you're next to the door now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, but you spent 50 AP. Do you have any left? Yes, I have 25 action points left, so I guess I just walk through the door like a normal person. Climbing through the window like a normal person. Semantics. <laughs> okay. I just want to clarify, all three of you are standing right there, right? Oh no. Yes. I'm going to use some of my, more of my AP to move away from the door. <laughs> you do not have a held action to do so. You have a held action to use your shotgun. Alright. Yeah, touche for that one. So it moves up to the door and is reaching through it, and is reaching through with two of its four, well, eight, you're not sure how many appendages it actually has. Too many. Um, can I use my held action to fire one round for my double barrel shotgun with a cry of, back off? Sure.
Wait, how exactly are you supposed to roll this? What do you mean? This is the first time I've ever attacked ever. So I, I don't think I... Do I get a critical hit bonus? I don't think you do with a double barrel. Well, you need to make a make a firearms test. What's well, asking for a critical hit bonus? I'm saying trait trait slash perks already count, so I'm guessing probably a zero. Critical failed penalty. Thing is zero unless you have a modifier that says otherwise. Okay, and then I don't have a two hit. Well, uh, you get a okay, 15, bon you get a fifteen to hit for point blank because this is a shotgun of point blank. And then bonus D10 is going to be that uh, the 5D10 for it being a double barrel shotgun? No, it's zero. You've already programmed that in. Everything is zero unless specified otherwise. Oh, boy. The gun goes click. Apparently, it's wet. You know, from being in a freezer. Okay, there goes my one plan in the hole. I kind of wish you guys would have shot this thing. I would have been laughing. Hey, Fee, it, since I had like 10 AP left, could I, uh, that have been used for my dodge? Yes, it could have. Okay, it's sweeping attack. We'll hit all three of you. What are we taking? 44. Armor piercing medium, so it ignores half your DT. Or 10, whichever one is higher. Okay, so I ignored 10, so that'll be 34 damage. Sixty-seven health. I think this may be a good time to pop a healing potion. When is my turn? So, Bronco, what are you doing? He's telling the other two to move, and he's going to fire his forty. The round bounces off its hide. Bronco, what caliber gun was that? 44. It was really fucking loud is what caliber it was. Hey, Bronco. It's a 44 Magnum. Me? Run. Yeah, run. Spend 15 AP to sprint the hell away from there.
Okay, well, you're out. Um, Arcane. Okay, I have two questions. First of all, how much AP does it cost to consume a item? Like a potion or something? You don't have a hand or a horn, so 15. Okay, so it'd be 15. Um, does super healing potions have an addiction chance? No. Would you guys be fine if I used one of our super healing potions? I'm down to 67 out of 118. Go ahead. Okay. So what role would I be making? Obviously, medicine. You don't make a skill check. Okay, what do you want me to roll instead? You heal 60 plus um, your medicine divided by 5 and d10s. What's your medicine? 30, so it'd be 15 d10. 30 divided by 5 is oh, 6. Oh, sorry, I thought you said 30 divided by 2. Okay, that makes more sense. There we go. So you roll 60 plus 60, 10. I'm adding that 60 passively, so that would be 86. And use the rest of my actions to go away. Okay. Misty, what are you doing? I'm sprinting out of there. Okay. Because I bonk my head again, I'm yelling meep meep. Oh yeah, wouldn't it also have been uh, Bronco discharged the forty four caliber right next to Arcane as well? What's wrong with that? I'd probably just use it to make a mop joke. Oh. Yeah, nothing Hello, like Tinnitus. How are you? Okay, so you guys have all sorted off the map. Uh, congratulations, you have escaped a creature that has 20 hit points. How much was its DT? 105. Okay, so we would literally have to beat 105 in terms of damage. Or just have armor piercing heavy. Which I don't think anyone has. I don't think anyone has that, so... Yeah. No. We went to a bar and all we got was this lousy triple barrel shotgun, a murder axe, and a freaking bottle of premium wine. We went to a bar looking for hopes and all we got was death. Just be glad the just be glad the walls are made out of brick. Special ability, Wall Buster. Any wall that is not made of brick, concrete, or steel, this creature has no problem just passing right through. Roll a strength check. You get to re-roll this if you roll a nat 10, so you have to roll this, you have to roll a 10 twice in a row for this to fail. If you succeed, remove the wall so the creature may pass through it. The wall is destroyed, by the way. So we got attacked by Cthulhu Kool-Aid Man? <laughs> Yes! Yes, you did! Let's just continue. All right. Uh, 
where are all of you going from here? Any other places you guys wanted to go check out? This way. See something, Steel? Checking the door is locked. It's a bank, so yes. I was just doing a quick roll real fast. Arcane's just gonna mutter underneath his breath. Guys, the thermal drill. Go get it. So what's our plans to get in here? Is it a glass door or a solid door? It's glass. Can we smash the, the window in it and crawl through it? Mm, I don't know. I mean, it might turn into a bank. And it's saying as we just came out of that Eldritch Horror. Yeah. Arcane, your pit box starts clicking. Oh, cool. I have a pit box now. Heck yeah. Kidding. The, the gagger counter starts dang, clicking. Dang it. I tried. Yeah, and we're... I tried to fuck with you, but anyway, the gagger counter starts clicking. What do I need to roll to break the glass? Uh, I'll be right back. It would be strength minus three because it's reinforced. Pine, your hoof hurts. As you're trying to like break the glass. You notice a distinct change in the clouds in the clouds above. As you look up, you realize that something that clouds that are strangely tinted green are rolling in with what can only be described as a tingling feeling wrecking across your body. What happens? Okay, so what were those two strength checks? He's trying to break the glass break with his hoof. Okay, then what was the second check? To break the window. Oh, he's trying multiple times. He might have broke something. What happens? You are at minus two movement as you sprain your hoof and actually rolled your ankle. <clears throat> Bugger, that's moved. That's the other one. This window's not moving. Yeah, Misty, you might want to take a look at that. As a gun! Absolutely. We do always have the master key holds up double barrel shotgun. Fires 44 Magnum. Make a damage roll. If 
52. That's a big old bullet hole. The bank alarm is going off. I told you. Let's go get these security counting measures shut down. That's okay. One bullet hole does not, however, cause the glass to shatter. We can at least maybe use that as a leverage point to potentially break open break open more glass. Awesome. Are you gonna try to do that? Mm, well I don't have a crowbar. I mean, I Never mind, big... the glass is starting to the glass is starting the spider web. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess Arcane will walk up to it and just give it a good solid buck, because I mean if it's already spider webbing, it shouldn't take much force to break it. Make a strength check, no modifier. <clears throat> yeah, roll 28 liking this very much. Take 20 damage to each of your hind legs as you literally feel like you might have just broken them. You didn't. But God, did it hurt. Wait, so awesome. do, I, do I actually take 20 damage to both legs or just feels like it? No, you actually take 20 damage to both okay. legs. It's like you walked up and kicked a brick wall and the brick wall said no. <sighs> yeah, then that they are. Still, Bronco walks up and kicks it in your place and it shatters into a million pieces. Just a sheer deadpan look, like... Really? Let's get in. I don't like to look at those clouds. Move, move, move. Yeah, the Geiger I'm coming. The flicking away. Into the bank. Ah, oh, man, I can make so many freaking robbery-based jokes. Or any ba robbery-based references. Cool, my legs are halfway to being crippled. I'll bandage those up as soon as we get out of this weather. Let's hold on. All right, thank you. Next time, maybe let me kick the glass. I'm the one with the brass shoes. Arcane looks over. Oh, you are wearing brass shoes. Never noticed. Yeah, I was just a little hesitant because, unfortunately, last time I kind of cut myself. Eh, that's a touche bit. That makes sense. But I mean, hey, we're breaking into a bank. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Fun. If we... Let's hope there's no homicidal robot. Yeah, there's that, and also, uh oh, yeah, there's the security systems. I've got a hack in the Matrix of 60 yet. If we can find the computer, I should be able to shut it off. Oh, come on, I have a 49. It's like everyone's better than me. I think Steel and I are more focused in our field. You seem to be more of a catch-all. Oh, a little bit, but I put most of mine into academics and lore. I, put, I tagged academics and lore, hacking and matrix and repair. Oh, that might be where I come in, the repair bit. Yeah, I have Jack Diddley in repair. Cool, I can make sure everyone's guns and armor in tip-top shape. Ain't no one dying on Arcane's watch. Well, unless they get shot, which then that's Misty's area of expertise.
With door kicked open, the winds from the out with door blown open, the winds from the outside are leaking in, despite the fact that the, the glass, it turns out, is actually leaded, which means that while you're standing in here, you're still taking radiation. According to the Geiger counter, each of you has been exposed to 60 rads so far. It means you all take 60 rads minus your resistance. Which is probably not. Mm, most of you have zero, yes. I have 12. What's my reduction on that? 12% would be like 7. And did the super healing potion do any healing passively to any limbs that have previously taken damage? No. Darn. Because I still have that head injury from the shelf. That heals at your healing rate when you rest. Which... That, that was actually... What? That was session one! I think this is like my... That should be healed by now. Yeah, it should. That should be fixed by now. Do we still have the rad resistance from the rad X that we've used last session? No. I never used any rad X. Is there a rad X has a chance to... has an addiction chance? No. I mean, okay, that's what I thought. I mean, I know in the games it doesn't have an addiction chance. Playing Fallout is fun whenever you, you force yourself not to use any of the chems. It's just you're sending out a ton of stem packs. And stem packs are really expensive because your charisma is really low. Yay. Couple that with not finding out that there's damage increasing perks in Fallout 4 until you're level 33. I guess we're checking out 7. Or actually, yes. hang on. Uh, I guess what Bronco's checking out seven is uh, three. Is that like the teller counter? Yes. Okay. And fifteen is the is is the is the vault room. Okay. I mean, obviously, if it's behind, obviously the security system is going to be either by this teller desk or it's going to be near the security room. I guess Arcane's going to run over to three. Um, is there any possible way to get into three? Or are you working on seven right now? The doors are not locked to get into seven. It looks like an interview area for people looking to get loans. Complete with a bar. Because nothing Which says is. good financial decisions like alcohol. Roll luck. Sure. Well, this place was closed when the when the bombs started falling. The only thing you find back here is a baseball bat, a fuckload of booze. How much condition is the baseball bat at? Thirteen. Cool. I can use it to repair the other one. Because okay. a 13 condition ain't going to do crap for you. Um, yeah, we get plus two damage on it. You also find packs of peanuts. They're the most popular flavor of, of, of snack food right now. At the time the bombs fell, tears of a zebra. Just one packet? Oh, it's not like one packet. It's like a giant fucking three-pound bag of peanuts. Take it. 
that again, the label says Tears of a Zebra. I'm going to make your characters sick of eating things that taste like Tears of a Zebra. Broncos just going to open the bag and start munching. You guys, are, <laughs> you, you, you guys, you guys will one day find something that's just like plain potato chips and be fighting each other over it at this rate. Well, what exactly do they taste like? Well, what do you think Tears of a Zebra tastes like? Hmm. Maybe a dill pickle. Uh, salty and wet would be a good description. Oh, why? Why would potato. you want to eat freaking wet potato chips? Your peanuts. That's the thing. They're dry, but they taste wet. Oh, why? That makes it so much worse. Like, the they good, crunch and good, everything. Yeah. In the wasteland, food is food. You'll eat it. I understand that. I didn't say I'd like it. Okay, Bronco climbs over the counter. Which one of the terminals activates the security system? Hold still, Arcane. I'm going to go ahead yeah. and put a bandage on his legs. Okay. If you want, uh, I can have Arcane sit down at one of the terminals, start sorting through it while Misty does, Misty is bandaging. Multitasking. Right. Okay. Do I need to roll my medicine skill first? If you're using an actual bandage now. So just the 4D10, then? Yes. Hey, even, I mean, all you have to do is get a 20 and you're fine. Or is it a roll for separate legs? And does, does she have the skill that allows her to specifically bandage limbs? Yes. No, it's not, it's not a separate roll. It just applies to the limb. No, it's right and left hind legs. Do what? You said that both hind legs were damaged. Would yes. it be the roll oh. would apply to both of them, or does it require separate rolls? Separate bandages. Okay. All right, one gets 12. Hey, I'll take it. And the other one gets 15. So which one do I did I bandage first? I'm going to say right. Wait, oh crap. Well, I already said right. I can't take that back. Yep. I and mixed I'm them up. I wanted the more health to go to the right. But... I said that's the one that's bandaged first, and that's what we're doing. Uh, do we need to make a hacking and matrix check from both uh, Arcane and Bronco? Looking through terminals? Uh, yes, you need to make a hacking and matrix check. Man. I'm going to roll medicine to see if I need to put a bandage on Steel Bronco's leg. Nope, looks fine. Just take two and call me in the morning. Okay, the alarm stops. Is there any other interesting information on the terminals? There's some gossip and the amount of money in the vault. That's about it. How much money is in the vault? A lot of it. Hey, do you guys want to do a post-apocalyptic bank robbery? What? 
good is the money going to do us? I don't I, think there's, there's going to no be anyone what that the currency can... is. I'm assuming it's unknown what uh, the caps are the current value of money. Caps have not been established as a currency yet. So, as far as we know of, it's still bits. I mean, heck, I mean, assuming the bits are... I'm assuming canonically bits are made mostly of gold, or are they like something like pennies, where it's like an alloy? They're canonically made of, made of gold. I mean, that's gold. Gold is still worth a lot. Or somewhat a decent amount. Arcane will gesture over at the terminal. This is how many bits are in the vault. What rule do we need to make to open the vault? Um, Uh, well, do you have anything to open the vault with? Or are you just trying to sit there and combination it? Well, let's do a quick run around, see if we can potentially find the code. We probably need to try to find a manager's office. I guess Arcane will head to 15. You can't get into 15. 15, I think, is a vault. Oh, I didn't realize that 15 itself was the vault. Mm hmm. Protected by concrete walls, reinforced with rebar. And a giant steel door. Alright, it's been noted. Um, I guess Arcane will head to 12. Yeah, 12 looks like a manager's office. I'll follow him. I'm assuming with it the is alarm. also locked. And the word kitchen is next to the door. Why would a kitchen be locked? They lock all the doors in a bank. Alright, it's been noted. Um, can we go through... Hang on, let me ping the door. This door. To go to 13. It's locked. What are the doors made out of? Thick, hard wood. Master key! Do you have the master key? The master key has the... It's freaking 12 gauge rounds fired down a barrel. It'll work. 
and that came out not not as great. I kind of stumbled around on that. Skirt it. I still got the point across. Because all it is is wood. Can I, we have a shotgun. Can I roll luck to see if the keys are by the cashiers? Of course, as usual, Bronco's the rational one. You can roll luck, yes. At minus four. None of the cashiers appear to have the key, at least behind the desk. Hey, can I blow this door in now? That's not. I'm gonna see if we can find this first before we start doing anything like that. Okay. I guess I'm gonna take a look at the desk to see if there's like a spare key hidden away. Still minus four. Um, no, no one gets a, there's no one gets a second check here. One person checked. It's not there. Um, what are runes eight and four? You don't know. Let's investigate, even though they're probably locked. One is labeled janitor's closet. We're all just pinging the map now. Another is labeled office supplies. Another is labeled printing room. And another one is labeled... And another one just doesn't have a label. Like, it just does not have a label, or is, like, the label removed? The label scratched out. Are these doors also made of wood? Yes. Thick, mm -hmm. hard wood. Hmm. God dang it, I just swapped off of the baseball bat. I was going to ask if I could use the baseball bat to make an attack on the door. So that way he wouldn't hurt so that way Arcane wouldn't hurt his hooves again. The door literally is made of harder wood than the baseball bat. Oh, okay. Here, just to give you the same It's like a door made out of baseball bats, except better. <laughs> We have an axe we could try, don't we? Um, I mean, yeah, but it has the unwieldy function attached to it as well. Which means it has a requirement of 7 strength. And I'm assuming everyone here has a 6 or lower. What about the pickaxe, though? Oh, good point. I don't think I have the stats for the pickaxe, but I can look it up real fast. I already have the book open, and I made a bunch of quick load files. And we also have a 33% fire axe. A uh, quick question, does anyone in the party have Wild Wasteland? Yes. Excellent. And I'm looking for the pickaxe. I just found it. Um, 
Because, guys, the uh, the pickaxe had armor piercing. It's, are, are you guys going to go mining the door? Diggy diggy hole? Or in this case, diggy diggy door. Here's Johnny. Yes, that was what I was going to do for the Wild Wasteland. Actually, prior to us attempting to smash open the door, Arcane's going to kind of knock on the door to see if there's anything in there first. While also standing partially to the side of the door in case anything smashes out. Okay. That long pause in an okay worries me a little. So are you guys going to... Well, I, I said that Arcane was going to knock on the door to see if anything happened first, while also standing over to the side partially. I'm partially tempted whenever we break down the door to use the D6 open up chart. Um, I guess we're going to break down the door. How much percent was that pickaxe? I need to double check the loot list real fast. It didn't look like it had a percentage on it. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I just put one pickaxe in there. Also, I noticed that the murder jet power super axe also had armor piercing medium on it too bad none of us can use it yeah because it requires seven I was, you, I was saving it for nickname you, for use with my doggy you can't you can't say that i didn't give you weapons that could kill the thing i threw at you but we don't have anyone who can use the weapon it's like getting the freaking gun a dragon slaying but no one knows how to use the gun i only have a 17 in melee weapons, I'm not going to be able to hit anything with that. Oh, I mean, you, only so, you only suffer minus 10 per point of strength you're missing. Yeah. I'd have to nail yeah. a crit. Because Ditto. I have an 11. No, I have a 9 in melee. Yeah. Because I took tech you know, support. I just realized something. None of you are horn heads, and then James will tell you, that, James, how many of us are horn heads on Friday night? Um, there's me, there's Violet, there's you, and then there's unreasonably Tufty, so it's four. There's only five of us in the group. One, only one of us doesn't have a horn to stabby stabby things with. In what race would that character be running? Or that person be running? Earth Pony. Ah. So we have an Earth Pony, two Alicorns, and two Unicorns. And only... The Earth Pony and one of the unicorns is not a mutated wasteland monstrosity. I'm guessing you guys smacked into some sweet, sweet fun taint. Our, our names are freaks and crazies. Ah. Anyway. So we break down the door? I mean, I'm going to have to roll directly out of the book. 
Are you just literally taking a pickaxe to the door? <laughs> yes, we are mining this door. Because we don't know the condition. <laughs> Mining this door. We're just getting the gold bite of communityisms right now, aren't we? I am a I just walk, fan. I'm I, I just, a hole. Guys, I, I just I, I walked into that one. We are getting a gold mine of communityisms. Gosh dang it. You're bad and you should feel bad. So, so you're just gonna go full dwarf on this door. With a pickaxe. Who needs a lock pick? I. Okay. Yeah. It takes a good few swings, but. Pickaxe finds purchase, and you you mine a hole big enough to step through in the door. <laughs> you just you mine the cool. Oh my god! What I miss? I had to take a phone call. You you get two blocks of wood out of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> this is why I'm going to take Wild Wasteland on my next character, and this is also the reason why I wanted to take Wild Wasteland on Arcane. Because you get beautiful well, moments like this. Well, lucky I'm here, because I have Wild Wasteland. <laughs> Thank you. I was trying to get Arcane Slap together the night before, and I forgot to submit it to Fee, so I had to wait a week. Which, I don't know why I didn't take the time to do that. In my opinion, if you don't have Wild Wastelands on your character in New Vegas, you're not playing the game right. Yep, I, I ran Wild Wasteland. I ran Wild Wasteland through frickin' Fallout 3. I have Tale of Two Wastelands, so they have a ton of extra custom things built in. Nice. Oh yeah, I completed the mission that, with the ghouls wanting to go to space. That was a that fun aside, one. That um, aside, what's in the door? Or what's in the room? Um, so... This was the employee's private stress relief room. Uh. <laughs> it's not very private. Oh my god, we just specifically made that rule check and it was just like, oh yeah, it's this room. Well, I, I guess we can it say a good thing that... It's wink, wink, nudge, nudge room. And so there's like, you know... Toys and condoms and a bed that is actually relatively clean. There's also a washer and dryer with a sign that says, Please clean up when you're done. Arcane is that just going to make the so This is the room with the name scratched off. Yes. Yes. Is there anything in the dryer? Um, yes, actually. There we go, got the name for the room down. Let me guess, uh, sexy sleepwear? No! Um, inside the dryer is, uh, is, is, is pre-war business mayor, is pre-war business wear for a mayor. And, uh... A flak vest. Yay! More flak vests. Awesome. Now I can actually use I fixed it to get that plus two DT. Do you check the washer too? Yes. Yes.
Um, make a luck check. It actually has written here, make a luck check. Uh, who here is making the luck check? Do you guys? I'll make it. Okay. I think I have a five or six of luck. I have a six of luck as well. Never mind. Oh, damn it. Inside the washer is an improperly washed advanced radiation suit. Nice. Wait. It is current it is currently only at twenty percent because the person put it in here on high heat. Is that what you mean by it being improperly cleaned? Radiation suits are supposed to be hand washed. Ah. Uh. But there's an advanced radiation suit in here. It won't provide very much DT, but it will at least provide rad resist. Uh, can you wear armor and clothes point. over it? Uh, no. Okay. And not it even a flag vest? It, 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 not even a flag vest. And it cannot be reinforced or um, or plated or any uh, additional armor modification made to it because it'll punch holes in it. Not that it already doesn't have like a hole or two. Yeah. Okay. Since we already established the fact that uh, Withered Flower is still at base, I'm guessing we're calling the Ministry of Morale building base now, I guess. I guess Arcane will make this like comment of, well, I'm, I guess we can be glad that Withered Flower isn't here. Otherwise, There's a lot of toys, both for mares and stallions. And there's like a, 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 I know that it's a shameful meme because it exists, but you now know why someone would order a 55 gallon keg of lube because there's one sitting on the floor next to the bed oh. with a spout and everything. I'm probably going to regret the next sentence coming out of my mouth. You know how we had wither. You know how wither flower used the uh, circuitry for the flamethrowers. Yes. Oh, no. Arcane is going to go through the toys and see if there's any possible salvage through them. I have a question, Arcane. Yes. Do you have repair mechanics checked? Let me double check. Hell yeah. Make an intelligence check. V, you are scaring me a little bit. I'm not going to finish that sentence. I was about to say you're scaring me, but also I'm a little bit excited, but no. No. Make an intelligence check. On the dot. Lube is lube. I was looking for. Doesn't a... matter. Doesn't matter if you. It's silicone based. It doesn't matter if you use it for a toy or for or for gun gears. It's still lube. No, I wasn't looking at the lube. I was going through the toys and everything to see if maybe there was any potential no, mechanical. I was just you know looking over at you and going, "You've been so inventive so far. You mean you're not realizing that lube is lube? Lube is flammable, right? No. Darn it. So in the meantime, make a luck check to see if any of the toys have salvageable pieces that you can use for other things. I find nothing. You find two pieces of circuitry, three scrap metal because some of these dongs actually just have metal rods in them, and six pieces of rubber. I'll let you figure out where the rubber is. Uh, so you said two pieces of circuitry, three scrap metal, and six rubber? Yes. Steel Bronco's going to search under the bed. Make a luck check. I like how we find this freaking room, and our first thing is, hey, let's take apart the freaking sex room. I'm going to pick up the condoms. That is three degrees of failure. What do I find?
What in the fuck? I did not expect this to go this low. You know what? I'm Sorry. loving it. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, this, I don't even know if this would qualify as slice of life. This is just what. <laughs> I've said it once. I'll say it again. Slice of life is my kink. What does Steel Bronco find under the bed? I mean, other than the cryptid that you expected to be there, you don't find anything. Hmm. Arcane will look over I'm waiting for him to realize what I just said. Well, I don't know what a cryptid is. So you don't know what a Mothman is? So oh, I'm, just, I, I'm just going to go spell out the word, and I want you to search it on Google. All right. There you go. How many intact condoms do I find? Uh, okay, so a cryptid is a t kind of monster. So again, James, other than the cryptid you expected to find there, you don't find anything. Arcane, I guess Arcane will look to the rest of the party. A slight glance to everything else in the room. Should we try to salvage any of this? Because I know that Witherflower would have a field day with this. How about no? Let's move on. Alright, so I hope you've all had fun, but you only have like 10 minutes. Does anybody have anything else they want to declare? Or are you guys going to just continue exploring the bank next time? Uh, can we go hit room 13, smash down the door with a pickaxe as well? Or do you think that would take longer than 10 minutes? Um, the pickaxe would break. <laughs> Was there like a big red bar attached, a big bar attached to it that says re that it has red? No. But the pickaxe, you know, oh no, you could go pick, pick your, I can't believe I'm saying this. You could go pickaxe your way through the, you could go mine the door to get into 13. <laughs> I mean, we don't, I mean, we know that we have the kitchen. It's just all the doors are locked. We're going to like expend so much durability trying to crash down every door. All right. So if I'm going to go to the bathroom and start getting ready for the next group now. <laughs> Iffy. Be there. She she might have just gotten up. I think she went. Well, I was gonna ask how many condoms I find. <laughs> of of course, hey. of course, our health mayor looking out for everyone else. Do, well, do you want to knock anyone up? It's not gonna be a good idea in a hellscape like this. Touche. I'm assuming this is all still in character. We still have character conversation, I guess. Because if in that case, if that was an in-character question, Arcane would just kind of go a slight, pretty much just almost full, like, red blush, like, um, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he just blushes a bright red with no answer. Oh, in that case, my character has eight charisma, so yeah. So hearing me, my character say that might really affect. Oh yeah. 
I mean, I'm getting plus two from my duster and my socks, but still, I have above average charisma. Wait, I'm debating on making one random check. Screw it, let's do it. Oh, okay. I was rolling willpower check and see if uh, he grabbed anything out of the room. And I guess he doesn't. On a crit fail, I probably would have had him grab like two or three items out of the room. I, but I, mean, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll have that supply there. I mean, if we needed to, we could always come back and grab it and maybe we can make some money off of it. I still, I like how it's like we escaped from the Eldritch Abomination and we left behind all the booze and everything. <laughs> I grabbed one bottle of premium wine. I think there's like another, what, 11 in there? You know, actually, a corn jar lit less, we have 300 beer. I think I forgot to knock it back off the list because V said that we would be carrying all of it. Just made a uh, side note that that particular room ex exists. I mean, hey, want more assassination opportunities. But I, I will admit a little bit, I did kind of wish Wither Flowers with us, because I, I would love to see her reaction to the whole thing. As our cane gets all blushy, blushy, Misty's just going to reach up, pat him on top of the head of a smirk at his embarrassment. Oh, yeah. Also, by the way, I don't know if you ever if I ever gave you his age. He is late teens, probably roughly 19. That's the level of awkward. Yeah, Misty's 27. <laughs> And she's also large frame. I'm getting slightly a bit of a sickle vibe from, I forgot the name of it, the Chrysalis, if you ever read that. No, I have not. Basically, Big Bear likes, she's, she's an ex-raider, now she kills raiders for fun. And then she, she forcefully snooze all the things. Hmm. But still, I mean, that's a giant freaking tub of lube. I don't even know what we could use that for. We could still use it just for WD-40. <laughs> well, if we ever need to put a very big object in a very small place, we know where to find it. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't need to let the Phillies and the Colts know about this particular room as well. Oh, also probably whenever I hit the next level, I'll probably take full at heart, so I get that plus one disposition, a plus ten negotiations, and seduct er cuteness for when dealing with children. I'm a little bit sad I didn't get any karma for giving that earth pony that died. Uh, the rat away. 
It also makes sense because they were all unnamed. No, 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 they gave names. They're just all dead now. Oh, there we go. Yay. We got 792 XP. Cool, I'm only, yeah, I mean, if we even just get a moderate amount of XP next session, I mean, all we have to do is get like 300 and I'll be level 3. Oh, and I just realized something else that would, would have been a little bit funny as an introduction. What if we came across one of, like a new character inside of that room, that would have been awkward and hilarious at the same time. Then you truly could have done your here's Johnny moment. Yes. But hey, we have two wooden blocks now. We need to find a way to fix that pickaxe so we can do that again. Oh yeah, that'd be super funny. Or that we find we get our hands on four wooden blocks and then we build a freaking crafting table and no one knows what the heck it is. Minecraft. We have, we played Minecraft inside of a tabletop game about ponies. Yes. I like how we didn't figure out that the two weapons that we got for two of the three weapons that we got for free had armor piercing. Well, Devil really thought much of them. I don't have the requirements to be able to use them, so I didn't look at them too deeply. Oh, That's yeah. when it noted that like Slender Man was just standing next to you guys in the room, and you guys just kept talking and ignoring the fact he was there. Wait, in which room? In the bar? No, the the, the 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 room you were just in. Oh, that room. And you, I, I look under the bed. Well, you don't find anything but the cryptid you were expecting to be there. Everyone just resumes like nothing's wrong, and I just go, okay. So Slenderman oh. is standing next to them. Or a Wendigo, or like some other horrific critter. And... It's very confused that they're not interacting with it or scared of it. What's this, what's this reaction roll? Total confusion. It just kind of sits there like John Travolta in, in Pulp Fiction, looking around going, here? Or here? Or what am I supposed to do? I think probably the fact that he was in that room, I'm pretty sure if it was capable of speaking, Arcane would have probably just gone on the offense and went, why are you in this room? I mean, did Steel Bronco even say anything about it? I don't know nope. what Krypton was. Oh, what was there? I'm like, nope, I'm going to pretend it's not there. So yeah, we'd have no idea that it was even there. So he didn't say anything about it. Oh, also, by the way, I didn't know if you heard, if you are, I rolled a willpower check to see if Arcane would have went to grab some of the items out of that room. He crit succeeds. He grabs nothing. It's 
speaking about grabbing things from that room, I still am curious how many co actual intact condoms I've Like two boxes of ten. Okay, that's good. M wanted to make sure n we don't actually knock someone up or anything. I just, I, I, I don't even. <sighs> you weren't expecting it to go this way, did you? I was not expecting you guys to ignore the monster and the monster to just be confused that you were ignoring it. I was not expecting you to mine a goddamn door, as in not put landmines on it. No, you went full dwarf on that bitch. Hey, it is used for splitting things open. We used it to split a door open. It works. You have a mare that has wild wastelands, and we find out we have a pickaxe. What did you expect? You're also talking to the group that managed to talk a Philly out of killing the party. Also spoke to three alicorns and went, yo, what up? How's it going? What else did you possibly expect? If it isn't obvious, I freaking love this group. I'm happy I joined this group. I know, I am too. The only things I had heard about group three was the fact that they just, they went full dwarf mode for like, a couple of sessions, and VR had to throw supernatural horror into it just to get them to leave. Oh yeah, I forgot the skeletons are shit. We still be coming after them. I think my only regret for this session, the fact was uh, nickname wasn't here for it. Wait, but Fjord, did the Ultra Tour or the Horror, whatever, the Cryptid, did it actually make a roll and then fail or something for a reaction? Well, the normal reaction when someone looks directly at it is to scream in horror and run away. You guys just resumed talking to each other like nothing was there. So it crawled out from under the bed. And I said, okay, what's its stealth check? There's no way any of you are beating it unless you crit, so I'm not even going to call for a perception. I'll just let you guys continue. Uh, what is its reaction? Total confusion that you're not terrified. That, uh, that is beyond hilarious. So there's just three ponies sitting around talking while, while, sl while the Slender Man equivalent of a pony is standing behind them like, run? Yes? No? Maybe? Eh, no? <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? Usually everyone runs away from me first, and then I know to, like, what do I do? I mean, to be fair, if it's Slender Man, he's just a guy in a suit, he's a chill dude. Also, hello, I'm just here to listen while I do the podcast art. No, it, it, it's fine, it's absolutely, it, the, the end of the session was beyond amazing. Hey, Fior, I have one tiny question. Can we sunrise the uh, cryptid? Make him our friend? Are you going to go back in the room and talk to it? I think we are still in the room as of now. Yeah, we're still in the room. Also, if are it helps you... Are you going to acknowledge its existence? Do, do we need to make a roll to actually see it first? Or is it more like so stunned? Yes. Alright, I'll, I'll roll a yes, perception. Oh man, I, I just realized how hilarious this would be if Pinky Sense was active and one of the characters just Pinky's like, you don't see the, the horror over there in the corner. I don't see anything. Also, I have lack of bucks, so it's probably not going to bother me too much. Uh, yeah. Arcane sees it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You said it was so high it required a crit.
Do we need at least suspect that there is a presence there, or is it just a... No, not really. And I had to use that crit on a willpower check as a joke. I think I'm just too distracted by these little standboarding it. So I, 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 I will leave you guys with this. Link must be downright terrifying to normal people in high rules to encounter. He's like a fucking heroic cryptid. Just imagine it. Your village region kingdom is under attack by some monster or another, and out of the trees, this cinder, slender little twink appears and suddenly starts acting like he's going to help. And you're skeptical because look at him. And then you find out he's basically a one man army who just fucking wrecks whatever's terrorizing you in the first place before he breaks all the pots in town and disappears. <laughs> that must be wild. <laughs> Your village has a statue of Link that is built between his incarnations. And people put play cloths around it as offerings and things. One day, this little fucking kid in green shows up, breaks all the worshipping pots, and runs off without anything more than a as they jump off a cliff into the forest below. You're confused as fuck, but your great-grandmother is weeping like she just saw a god. It's like if you met Jesus, except he's a gremlin. Um, I've already read they, that, and it was still funny you rereading it. Um, v, I don't know if you want to log back into group three, but um, still Bronco rolled perception, and he rolled a nat one, so do I see it? What does your earth pony eyes see? Yeah, the, uh, you see Slender Pony standing there looking very confused. Well, as confused as something with no face can look. Still, Bronco's just going to go, Hi. Further confusion. But we'll figure this out next week. Okay, I'm good for that. Oh, also, if you don't forget uh, Die Hard Session, or Die Hard Party, I forgot to remind you for this week. I'm going to get reminded. Die you know what? Fuck it. We're probably going to end up watching Die Hard 1 and 2, because they're, they're both Christmas movies. My last rule was in that one. Go figure. <laughs> Mine was in that roll one to not to see if he grabbed any of the items from that room. So yeah, next week we start with oh oh um by the way, there's a strange pony behind us. <laughs> Where's your face? Because he doesn't have a mouth, he'll just have to, like, oscillate his throat to speak, just like, You! How are you? <laughs> he has no mouth, and he must scream. He has no mouth, and he must say, What the fuck, man? Run already! He starts to scream. Slap him. No. Step that. No. No screaming around here. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next week. All right. All right. See you then. Bye. Bye.